Clinical trials are the way we get new medicines to cancer patients. We all have to remember that any medication we've heard of for the treatment of cancer really originated from a first in human clinical trial and was evaluated for safety and efficacy throughout a life cycle of that drug's development. Clinical trials help us to translate the knowledge from scientific laboratories and other areas into patients, and then hopefully in larger and larger numbers of patients until we can reach the marketplace and more specifically be able to bring drugs to patients in clinics across the U.S. and beyond. Clinical trials are really our main conveyance of the way that we translate science into better cancer care overall. Phase one clinical trials involve the first time a drug is used in a patient with cancer and is different from other diseases like cardiovascular diseases or infectious diseases because based on the safety profile of the drugs, we enroll patients with advanced cancer onto our studies. And that is a time when we're trying to understand more about the safety, the right dose, and early understanding of the efficacy of a given anti-cancer drug. Phase two is when we have looked at the safety efficacy from phase one studies and identified hopefully a population where we believe the drug might be effective. We've certainly identified a dose and we have an understanding of what uh, activity the drug may have. And phase two starts to ask that question of, okay, if we have a specific cancer type, then how does this drug work in that type and in that setting? Phase three is really the big question of, does this drug or combination of drugs work better than what we're already doing? And we don't know that, and that's why we do the trial. And it may be that we have some bias that it is, but until you actually perform the clinical trial, you may not know that what we're doing or the investigational approach is better than current standard of care within a given study. So that's a really important step for drugs to come forward. Patients coming into trials have a number of questions that we really have to answer. One of them is, what's the expected side effect profile of the drug that I might be getting? Another is, what are the other options that I might have for the care of my cancer? Is it that this trial is the best option for me, which many times we think it is? Or what other options are there for me to, to pursue additional treatment beyond what I've gotten already? Other questions include things like, how much time is it going to take for me to participate in this trial? What's going to be the impact on my family or me in terms of time within a given space? And then finally, what's the experience of other people on the trial? How have you seen uh, this drug to be effective or what side effects are out there? It's been shown in a number of instances that patients receiving care on a clinical trial receive the best care we can give. There are a number of studies that have shown that even if you get standard of care chemotherapy on a trial, that that care is delivered better than if you were to get standard of care chemotherapy in the clinic, uh, not on a trial.